Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and today, oh my god, I, I can't believe it, but I got another banger for you guys. It's a Z game and you may be wondering why there is no build part and how is the video 35 minutes long? Is this gonna be a double gameplay? No, this is a single gameplay guys. A single 35 minute game. And as you may see from the title, I very likely titled it something like Split Push Z is insane, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And the answer is, it is. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys a crazy playstyle on Z. And like, basically Split Push Z. You know, like if, if I can summarize this entire word, Split Push. But like, have you ever faced a Z where it just felt like you could not stop him from side laning? Because, for example, he would push turrets like, Oh, the Zoe anticipated my flash. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look. She saw it coming. Look. Oh. This Zoe. I knew this Zoe was no joke. Because it was... it Like, if you look at it from a high... Like, a high-level gameplay perspective, it was very obvious I was going to flash. But, like, 99% of the players would not anticipate that. So this 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 play alone let me know that this Zoe is no joke. Z counter Zoe by the way, hard counter, just so you know as well. I'll explain the reasons later on in the video. Um but basically what I was explaining is have you ever played against that Z where it just felt like you cannot get close to him because he's gonna one-shot you? It felt like you cannot stop him from split pushing, it felt like he was everywhere, and it felt like he constantly took your jungle, and it felt like he always shoved every single wave in the game. I'm gonna tell you that you've been against those Zs. I, I, I've been against those Zs too. And I'm gonna turn you guys into one of those Zs. Which is gonna be an absolute menace to the enemy team. I just wanna say, I played like, probably like 40 games of Z across this season and last season. Like, if you actually look at my channel, you're not gonna see Z gameplay from me in the last 6 months. This does not mean that I have not been playing Z. Contrary to that, I've played a lot of Z. I've actually made videos of starting Z and uh, so, like another player playing Z, but not me. Because like I just kept exploring new ways to play this champion to bring you guys this content. You know, I tried playing Bruiser Z, full lethality Z. Full lethality Z is good and is going to be a future video, by the way, just so you guys know. I've tried playing uh, Bruiser Z being you going like a Black Cleaver, Divine Sunderer, etc. I've tried going Lethality plus Bruiser, which actually ended up being very good. Um, like Yumo's Ghost Blade, Black Cleaver, Surda's Grudge, etc. Also tried going full split push Z, so playing Z in the Baron lane and going for a Hole Breaker. Whoa! Oh, no way. Well, how did I not kill him? Wait a damn minute. How did I not. How How is he alive? Oh my god, I actually had a pretty good combo on him, but he somehow survived. Perhaps I should have just ran away and didn't try I shouldn't have tried to kill him. Because even if I killed him, I would have died for it. Which is sort of a 50-50 trade. And of course I'm risking not killing him. So I should not have I should not have tried to kill him there. I guess I got a bit overconfident in myself. Uh, you'll see in the late game, I'm gonna make some crazy plays with the shadows. I'll explain to you some very advanced combos as well. But yeah, I was talking about full split push that it doesn't work. Like you know, I tried going for like a Yumo's Ghostblade and then Hallbreaker and then Lethality. I tried going Yumo's Ghostblade, Hallbreaker and then Bruiser. All of that just, just didn't work. Like Hallbreaker is not worth on Z until the late, late game. In the super duper late game, Hallbreaker is going to be broken on Z. Also tried running the Demolish rune on Z. Also not worth it. You do not want to run Demolish, you want to run the, um, the cooldown reduction on, what is it called? Ingenious Hunter, I think so. The one with the brain, you know? Not the brain, the skeleton. Also, for the runes, I tried running the precision tree. I've tried everything on that. It's so funny. Like, I've tried running the precision tree. It's not worth it. Do not go for Gathering Storm and, and, and all of that bloodline. And go for the domination tree. You go for sudden impact. You go for... The, the second one sucks because you have to go Mark of the Week. And then the third one... What is the third one? It's going to be Eyeball Collector. That's what you're gonna go for. Domination runes. Trust me, I've played 
dozens of Z games before this video. And with the new runes, 100% the domination runes are the best ones. Do not, and I repeat, do not go precision. In this game, I have domination. You're going to see, like, I will do crazy damage. Also, even in the late game, it's funny. Like, even in the late game, it's really not bad. Like, sudden impact is really not bad against squishy champions. Of course, precision is better late game. I'm not going to deny that. But, like, what I'm trying to say is it's not that much worse. Look at what I'm doing right here. The, the split pushing kind of already starts. I want you guys to pay attention to how I'm shoving minions too. This is an extremely important part to this strategy. The most efficient way to shove waves with Zed is by using your second ability, double shuriken, you know, double first ability, and then get close to the wave and hit your third ability, hit your third ability as well, like twice on the same shurikens. That's how you clear the wave the most efficient way. Um, and you always do it like that. There is really no other way. Um, you do it like that, you're going to shove waves in like between 1 and 3 seconds. Later on in the game, you're going to shove them faster. This should be a free kill. I can just ult him. I can simply use my second ability and just ult. Yeah, there we go. Easy kill. Very, very easy kill. Based, like very basic combo that I did right there. Basically, if, you, if, the enemy, if the enemy doesn't have any tools to run away, the basic combo of Z is to click on your ultimate and auto-aim everything. Click on your ult, third ability, first ability, you're going to get kills. Make sure your basic attack too, the basic attack is important. But we're going to get into some crazier, more advanced combos the later we get into this game, guys. I, I do not want to overthrow you on all of that, but I'll, I'll tell you about a lot of them. But I'm going to do it piece by piece. I do not want to overwhelm you too much. Uh, you're probably still going to get overwhelmed if you're a beginner Z player. You can just ignore, like what I'm going to talk about in the late game, you can ignore if you're not already a very good Z player. If you are already like a very good Z player, like a Z player that can at least get into like high Grandmaster, then what I'm going what I'm going to tell you in the later game is not going to help you. If you're like a beginner Z, do not listen to all of that. So here everything is nice and chill. I'm playing a normal game. There's two ways you can play Z, and both are viable: ganking and pushing. Both are good. Like as a Z, whenever you get your ultimate, you want to be on a lookout for ganks. I could old Zoe here, but is it really necessary? I guess I did because I didn't want to get killed by her. Because you know how Zoe can just one-shot you with her first ability. So now I do not have my ult anymore. Uh, so I want to push. Like, I want to push. I want to take red buffs. You know, I want to... I wanna Like, here it is, red buff. I do not want to waste my time trying to gank. Although, this misfortune is heavily overextended. I'm just taking the red buff here, though. Because uh, it's just such a powerful thing to do. But you can see, uh, am I really not ganking the, this misfortune? I mean, can I even kill her? That's the question. Without ult, it's actually extremely hard for me to kill an ADC like that. Misfortune is very strong. I did realize she has no mana, and that is why I'm actually going on her. What is she gonna do? Oh my god, she actually flashed away. Okay. I guess if she flashes, I cannot kill her. Now the split pushing arc is gonna begin. Um, you can see, I'm gonna start split pushing a little bit. And Zed can beat everyone 1v1. Except for bruisers. Um, even some bruisers you can beat. But uh, tanks you can also not beat. Like an Orn, you're never going to kill. Scion, you're never really going to kill. You know what I mean? You can beat a Darius, for example. Like, you can even beat a Fiora. I, I guess, no, you can beat bruisers, sorry. But you cannot beat tanks. Like, tanks you're not going to kill. Like, a, I mean, Gar... Whoa! 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 Okay. Okay. Let's go back to that combo. This is one of the more advanced combos that I did right here. Take a look at what I did. This is more advanced. Like, I'm actually going to try to pause the video to actually show you exactly what I did and tell you my thought process. Sorry if this is a bit obnoxious, but I actually want to teach you guys what I did right here. Okay, I ulted her here because she ulted, right? Right here, um, let's take a look. I put my second ability behind the Zoe. So I ulted Zoe. You see, my ult is here. I instantly use second ability here. I went out of her range because I did not want to get hit by her damage. Then I threw a shuriken on her because I knew she already ulted. So the only way she can dodge my shurikens is by flashing. Then I went back to my ultimate. I ignited her third ability and I killed her. You see that? Pretty crazy, isn't that? Let's actually look at that again and look at it just without pausing the video. So let's take a look without pausing it anymore. You're going to see a lot more combos, by the way. There's a combo for... Okay, so ultimate to chase her. I dodged her damage. Boom, 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 and back. You see? And I flashed to dodge the Gragas combo. This was pretty much the only combo I could have done to kill her right there. 
Any other combo, I would have died. This was the only combo that would work. Literally the only combo. So this combo, you want to use this combo if you ult in and you're in danger. Like you ult in, you're in danger, and you do not want to go out. Because you have two options. If you ult in, you're in danger. You have two options. You can use your second ability to go somewhere else, or you can immediately ult back, and then you have other choices, right? You can immediately ult back. You're going to do very little damage if you do that, because, you know, you either have to go right back in with your second ability, then you do not have any escape choice. You're going to still do a lot of damage if you do that, but then you cannot escape anymore, or you're just, you know, you're not going to do a lot of damage. But the only way to do end a lot of damage and to avoid the damage in the initial impact, you ult in, you second ability, you immediately teleport somewhere else. So like you do not get hit by the Zoe first ability or whatever the hell you're getting hit by. You throw your shurikens, you can walk close to the enemy, use your third ability, you and the shadow, basic attack, that basic attack is important, it does so much extra damage, and then you go out with your ult. You have six seconds to do all of this, which is more than enough time. This is the first advanced combo, and I told you, like, you want to use this? For example, let me give you another example. If I ult Lee Sin, there is a danger that he's going to ult me back. I can instantly use my second ability to go out and then throw my combo on him. But in Lee Sin's case, in Lee Sin's case, I do not actually want to get close to him to use my third ability. I just want to use my shurikens uh, because he's going to ult me away, and that's going to do a lot of damage. So you have to play accordingly to, ev to any champion in the game. But as I told you, Zoe is a very easy target. You just have to wait until she ults. You'll follow her. Like if she ults towards you, you just ult her. You'll follow her ult all the way back. I sold it this Ash because she's like she actually stole so much farm from me in this game. I got quite. You're gonna see. This is gonna be quite an emotional game. I got very tilted at this Ash at some point. Enemies are taking Dragon. I could not do anything because Evelyn was dead. I'm just doing my duty of, of pushing waves. It's funny because you have... This is another combo. This is another combo. So my idea here... This is like... I could have done this combo way better. Let me go back. Wait, let me go back. So my idea right here with this combo... Was that I, I wanted to just kill the Lee Sin. And if I could, you know, if he didn't instantly ult me, I would have dashed to my second ability and run away. But Lee Sin had a very good reaction time. Um, and th like, this is another combo. If you're waiting in a bush, like if you're waiting in a bush, you can throw your second ability onto the enemy, ult, and you're going to have th three shurikens. You see that? So I had three shurikens. And this was also pretty much kind of the best combo I could have done. I would have died here anyways. Like the, the only thing I could have maybe done... I, I, I don't know if I had a ward. I could have maybe warded the bush, ulted him, immediately went back into my ult, used my shadow to damage him. I don't know. I just wanted to kill him because I got like an 800 gold bounty. That's why I just all in him and made sure I did maximum damage, even though I knew I would die for it. That's why in that particular scenario, I chose maximum damage over safety. Because even if I used my second ability, he would have still been able to catch me. And I knew that. Like, if I actually wanted to play it safe... I could have also used my second ability backwards, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just kill him because I knew it was worth it. <clears throat> By the way, I also realized the power of Yumo's Ghostblade on Zed. I actually often choose to go Yumo's Ghostblade first over the Duskblade nowadays, even though Duskblade is like such a heavily buffed item. That's an easy kill. And because that's because you can roam around a lot. And then we get to the next point of split pushing. You want to shove waves fast and roam around. You want to invade jungles. <laughs> You want to be everywhere. Which item is going to let you do that, of course? You guessed it, is the Yumo's Ghostblade. By the way, I want to remind you guys. Make sure you give the video a like if you're enjoying it. And if you if you want to enter the skin giveaway, put down a comment under the video. That's all you have to do to enter the skin giveaway. Uh, giving away three skins, like always. So yeah, if you and you're, you'll support the channel a lot with that too. I actually wonder if there's going to be any Z experts, you know, Z experts that are going to be correcting me in the comments. Because I've done my best on this video. I've played a whole lot of Z. Obviously, I'm not a perfect Z. To perfect Z, you need more games. And you cannot be a player like me who plays everything in every role. You're never going to master Z like this. Ah, uh, that was another combo that I did. Oh, that was... Okay. 
Should, I'm not gonna rewind. You can rewind it if you want to. What happened right there? I actually okay. Now I'm gonna rewind it because that was actually a different combo. This is yet another combo. We're gonna focus on what I tried to do on Zoe first, and then we're gonna talk about what I actually did to Misfortune. So this combo is the maximum damage combo if the enemy has vision on you. Look, the way it goes. Let me show you. You ult the enemy, then you throw your second ability behind the enemy. You do this because 99% of the times they're going to run away behind. So take a look. I threw my second ability. You see how, how my second ability is over here? The only reason I threw this here is for the shuriken. It's all going to go through Zoe. Like all of these shurikens are going to go through. You're going to do maximum damage. No one can really dodge this unless they flash. So she did flash. You see? And then here. So the way you hit that is you don't like... You have to hit it from three perspectives. This is very hard to explain to you guys because you all know, right? Like when you, when you use your shadows, it can be a little bit tricky to actually properly aim everything. Like properly aiming one of them is easy, but you have to you have to put your finger exactly on the misfortune. But the thing is, it's not exactly on the misfortune you have to put it. You have to put it a little bit in front of her and you have to be considerate where she's running if she's running like diagonally downwards and she's standing right here you shouldn't you shouldn't put your finger here you should put it here like a few millimeters a few millimeters because she's gonna walk into it and that way you can guarantee hitting all three shurikens rather than only you know shaving her with like one or two shurikens this is extremely hard there's really no other way going around it's extremely extremely hard you're gonna get this if you practice a whole lot of stuff. Right here, I'm trying to look. I knew Zoe was here. Boom, boom, she's dead. Misfortune look is a free kill too. I just got a double kill here, and now I'm gonna try to stop them to do the Baron. That was a very nice double kill. Um, but this Lee Sin, man. Oh, he filled. Ah, but he still killed me. Ah, uh, this Lee Sin is gonna be a problem. Lee Sin is a problem for Zed because he can, like, his ult, you cannot dodge his ult. His ult is faster than your shadows. That's the problem. His ult is literally faster than your shadows. It's, it's really annoying. It's funny because we're 14 minutes in and you still have not witnessed Split Push Zed. That's how long this game is. We're not even halfway done with this game. Wow, what a crazy game this is going to be. Oh my god, because we're going to... At some point, we were gonna, we were ending up losing. Yeah, so I gave him red buff. I didn't take his red buff earlier. And then he just takes my blue buff, which is an extremely important buff for Zed. Blue buff makes you, like, so strong. A problem that I have is Crown of the Shattered Queen on the Zoe. I cannot kill Zoe with that. However, I still can if I just hit my abilities. It's just a bit harder. Because... Your ultimate does damage based on pre-mitigation damage. Meaning that all the damage reduction of the Crown of the Shattered Queen does not reduce the damage of my ultimate. That should be a kill. Come on. There we go. I killed Lee Sin. Very, very nice one. That was a pretty basic combo. Not gonna talk about that one. Only gonna talk about the more advanced ones. So you shouldn't be afraid of that. Like, it's... Oh, I did a lot of damage, but I... I like... You cannot be caught off guard by a Zoe like that. She's gonna, she's gonna punish you. She's gonna punish you. And here I actually kind of realized, like, you know, sure, I'm nice in team fights, but I realized I can win 1v1s against everyone, except Lee Sin. Perhaps a Lee Sin can win, but if Lee Sin roams to me, the enemies are missing their strongest champion, because Lee Sin is by far the most, he's by far the most fed champion in their team. I have no idea what my team is doing, by the way. So basically, I. Based upon that, I decided that split pushing would be the best for me. Because only Lee Sin can possibly kill me. And if he roams to me, my team should win the 4v4. But they actually just lost. They straight up lost though. So someone is even AFK. Oh my god. Oh, what if, man. Ah. Oh, what if makes you so tired sometimes. Right here we're in such trouble. Because like Lee Sin with Janna, he even has Edge of Night. I can never, I don't have a Serpent Fang either yet, at least. So I, how the hell am I supposed to kill this Lee Sin? If, if even Janna ult can just push me away. I'm just proking his Edge of Night here, but... 
I can go in with my second ability. That would have been a bit of a bold move. Wow, Zoe dodged the Ash Arrow with her ult. That was beautiful. Renekton is split pushing, which is, I guess, nice. Um, it's actually very nice. It's a very nice call that he's split pushing right now. I, def I don't know why I ulted her. I guess, to be fair, I think my thought process in the game was I didn't want my Lucian to die. So I just ulted just to make sure. And that was my thought process. And also your ult is on such a low cooldown late game. And it's like 25 seconds left. It's like nothing. This game I combined full lethality with Hallbreaker. Which I can confirm is the best way to play this build. However, if you play split push Z and you get to later game, you're gonna accumulate crazy amounts of gold. When you've reached full build, and you know you have more gold, you're gonna start selling some of your lethality items, because Dusk Blade is gonna fall off late game. Uh, Serpent Fang falls off, Collector falls off. Because when everyone is full build, these items aren't gonna be very valuable anymore. You're much better off getting like a Black Cleaver, Cerulus Grudge, Hole Breaker, you know, items like that in the late, late game. I'm talking like late game. I accidentally flashed here, by the way. That was an accident. That kinda sucks, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh! I should... Okay, I'm doing... This is maximum... Remember maximum damage? Remember that? I put second ability... But I can just hold back. Remember the maximum damage combo? I put my second ability behind her. And that's how I did maximum damage and just ob obliterated the misfortune, basically. I played Selfish this game because I got a bit annoyed by this team. Um, but actually, playing Selfish as a Z is the correct play. That's the thing. Like, I can bully this Zoe. Like, you see, my team is winning. They were in a 4v... Oh, no way. No way. But, like, two of them rotated to me. I killed one of them. And my team won the 4v3. You see how, like, you being selfish as a Z split pushing like crazy is gonna actually directly help your team. And the game has just begun. That's the thing. The game has just begun. Being selfish is... Ah, uh, Lee Sing can kill both of them. He's very strong. Yeah. I like that Renekton is pushing top, though. Like, split pushing... Me and Renekton should be split pushing. Team fighting is definitely not ideal for our comp. Because we have a support Ash. And they have a Janna. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, a Janna is gonna provide immense value during teamfights, while an Ash is really not gonna do much. Ash is better for split pushing, because Ash can ult side lanes. You know what I mean? Like, our whole comp is meant for, for split pushing. Right now, I have two choices. I can, I can be greedy, which I am gonna be. Take the red buff, take the blue buff, just play completely greedy and be as strong as I can, and split push. Um, unfortunately, that's what I chose to do. Like, sometimes it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, in this team, uh, in the beginning, I played like a team player, but it didn't work out. Now I have to play Greedy. Uh, Miss Fortune chooses to split push, because she's completely useless. So she she tries to be useful by split pushing. And while Miss Fortune can be very, very frightening for, it, for like an Evelyn or like an Ash or Lucian, I should not have any trouble with Miss Fortune. I mean, she should always be easy kills. I mean, let, let's take a look. I'm not even using my second ability. The, oh, okay. The only reason I used second ability there is because I thought she may potentially flash backwards. If she did, I would have chased her. If she doesn't, she's dead anyways. So it's like, I, I played out every scenario in my head. I would have killed her in every single scenario. So that's why I just, just in case, used my second ability like that. Now I'm gonna, now the split pushing really, really begins. My team, unfortunately, is fighting. When you split push, your team needs to chill. They need to waste time. They're not really wasting time, they're actually fighting hard, so unfortunately the split pushing tactic is gonna struggle if you play like that. I tried to help my teammate here, but I should have backed off. I, like, that was my bad. I should have backed off. Like, of course I can try get, getting mad at my teammate, but I should have just let him die and get back. I should have get back, got back, and then gotten right back to split pushing. Now we're losing huge pressure. Me dying was such a big mistake for me. We're losing crazy amounts of pressure now because I died like an idiot. He needs to be very careful. Don't know why the Renekton is not helping him. Although they should both be running away. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Okay, he didn't die. That's really important.
I went stasis this game, by the way, because I felt stasis was going to be very valuable. If I get caught by like a Lee Sin, I can stasis his ult. I have to time it very well, though. Ah, this is barren, though. We can actually make it, so I'm roaming. I want to kill this Lee Sin. He has GA, but I, he's half HP. But I don't, I don't, oh, oh, oh. Oh, she's dead. Okay, very nice. I killed the Janna. That's very big. I got 324 gold from the from the first strike, by the way. Oh my god. First strike is like such an MVP when you play Z. 324. That's crazy. Yeah, guys, you can see. Selfish. I'm taking the red buff now. I'm not playing like a teammate anymore. I'm just doing my thing. I'm gonna get Serpent Fang now, which is gonna be a very important item this game too. Of course, reducing their shields. They have a lot of shields. I should have probably gotten it a bit earlier. So probably before the before the collector it would have been more valuable i'm pretty sure so now what am i gonna do am i gonna rotate of course not i'm gonna split push the thing is you don't even need hole breaker to split push ah there is misfortune this misfortune just thinks i'm gonna let her live she just thinks i'm like i'm just gonna blow her up she oh she knows i'm here boom 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 and back it doesn't matter if she flashes away. I'm catching her ass. I am catching your ass. So now that I killed Misfortune, again, my team is in a 4v4. Hopefully, they're not gonna fight. They're gonna try to delay the fight. And while I say that, they're fighting. Like, they don't... It doesn't seem like these players know how to play with a... Uh, with a split pusher. Although, like, now is a good time for me to rotate. Because now we're literally in a 4v5. And look at how much damage I'm doing. It's actually crazy. I'm gonna ult Lee Sin here because I really want to kill him. But I'm so I could have actually killed him by going in with second ability, but I'm pretty sure I would have gotten one shot if I did that. My eyes are on the Lee Sin, dude, because he can smite it. Oh no what we didn't kill anyone. Oh. oh we did, okay. At least we killed him. Oh my god, this game. They got the Elder Dragon. I cannot really stay. Like, I, I really wanted to stay, but I'm so low HP. Now is a moment where I could start selling items and buy other items. This is a moment where I could start doing it. Seems like I didn't. Ooh, we're in trouble, actually. We're actually in trouble now. I'm gonna try to one-shot someone. We're in a bit of a desperate situation. They can, they can take inhip if I don't do anything. Seems like I just want to shove this way first. I felt like Ash could defend for a bit, but of course I have to help her, so I'm roaming. She cannot defend the whole thing. I'm just focusing on the minions here. Boom, he's dead. Stasis, ah, come on. I didn't stasis. I could have survived with a stasis. Okay, so now I'm selling items. I bought a GA, first of all. Interesting that I chose to sell the server thing. Interesting that I'm selling Yumos. Why am I selling Yumos? I sold Edge of Night for Sirota too. But like what? I guess I I guess I wanted the Dusk Blade for the slow. Because if you slow enemies with that attack, you can hit your shurikens more easily. Okay, so okay, okay. Be much better. I chose to keep the Yumos because of the ro roaming. Sell the collector, very nice. I didn't even buy a hole breaker yet. Um yeah, so these items are going to be significantly better for me now that we've reached the late game. We actually survived. Oh my god, that's huge. Him surviving is huge. They're going to kill Gragas too. We cannot end the game though, they are back alive. But now, again, the split pushing is going to begin. Boom, boom. Look at how fast I'm taking the waves, by the way. Just so you know, like, you take waves. You so, like, look. Boom, boom, boom. And it's taken. Done. And you can do it faster. That was not even the most efficient way. And before the next wave, you're going to have your second ability again. Look. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Third ability and it's gone. Look at how fast I'm shoving the waves, guys. I'm applying huge pressure. Of course, I'm warding the red buff, which is going to be of interest to me later on in the game. I ex what, are, what are these misclicks, though? Can so, like, I misclicked flash and this one already. Look, now they have to rotate to me. Look at what I'm going to do here. Look at this cool little trick. Boom, boom, and gone. You see, so you can actually take turrets like that too. It's probably a trick not many of you guys knew about. 
If a turret is pretty low, you can just put your second ability before you. You're going to have a couple seconds to take the turret. Take the turret and go out. Just like that. You see how I took that turret? Three of them or something rotated to me, but they couldn't defend it. And then my team was able to get another turret. It's just all... It's just crazy mind games as well on Z. It, it can be so frustrating for the enemies to play against a Z like this. But you have to know the tricks. And these are the tricks, guys. These are like the little tricks you need to be able to incorporate in your build. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you this ultimate combo that I'm about to talk about. Um, the way it goes, this is another ultimate combo. This is an ultimate combo you want to use against mobile target. Or if you're anticipating the enemy using a flash. Let's first look at what happens here. Easy kill, because my Ash ulted him. Okay, so I'm going to talk about it while I'm moving to Misfortune. You can ult an enemy. Wait. Literally, wait. The enemy is going to dash. Then you are going to use your second ability. To go in and use everything. So let me let me give you an example. You ult a Lucian. Lucian uses his third ability and protobelt. Then, you're going to use your second ability right on top of the Lucian. Go onto it, use your third ability to slow him, shuriken him, basic attack, and go back to your ultimate, and you'll kill him. This one you want to use, as I said, if you're anticipating an enemy flashing or dashing, protobelting, anything like that. Uh, this can be very hard to predict, but when you're later on in the game, you can predict this behavior. And of course, depending on the champion, like Ezreal, for example, I actually use this combo very often against an Ezreal. You know, you ult the Ezreal. I'm probably dead. I'm using a safe combo here. <laughs> yeah. You cannot avoid Lee Sin's first ability. He'll chase you. Oh, no way. I'm alive. Ah. 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 Yeah, okay. I'm dead. It was a nice try. But meanwhile, while I was doing all of that, my team got Elder, you see? Like, I'm just annoying them like crazy this game. They just they just cannot really deal with me. Now my Guardian Angel's gone, so I'm setting Guardian Angel. I have a 38 second death timer, so I buy Teleport in case I need a Teleport. And I bought him off my Morsius, because we're against a Zed, a Gragas, a um, Janna. Sorry, we're against a Zoe, Gragas, and a Janna, which is heavy AP. So Mothmar Morsius is, of course, also a way better late game item. I would have preferred GA, but of course it's on cooldown, so I'm not going to keep the GA like that. No way, Janna saved the turret? Okay, never mind. Very nice. They took that turret, which is huge. I have a teleport. Now it's ready because I bought it 38 seconds before I, you know, before I was back alive. Now let's see, we're gonna try to end the game here, but it's like kind of hard. Because all of them are alive. Yeah, it's a bit hard. We really can't. I'm ulting Lee Sin here, but he stasis it. Oh, no way. Misfortune ult was actually huge. Now, I, uh, now I'm buying my stasis again. When I'm alive, it's back off cooldown. We completely, we completely messed up going into their base. We should have just waited for the next objective. Uh, we were trying to be too hasty with our decisions, trying to end the game fast, because it's like 30 minutes into the game, but all we have to do is just wait for the Baron or Elder or something. Why the hell are we fighting in their base? They can literally just stay in their base and defend. Now we're actually in a bit of trouble. They could maybe try to end the game. Although Renekton is doing a good job defending. Staying behind the minions so he cannot get hit by the, uh, the Sin first ability. It's very, very smart. There's a misfortune. Of course, it looks like a free kill to me. I'm going to try to flank her here. I'm not showing myself. She's surely going to be somewhere here, right? There she is. Look, right here. Whoa. This is an adaptation. So let's go back. This combo that you're about to witness is a similar combo that I told you about like chasing an enemy that's flashing. This is very similar. Let's say you ult an enemy. That enemy stasis is, 
you know, normally you can stay on top of them and kill them anyways. But let's say that enemy stasis is, and they're surrounded by enemies. Like here, look. I cannot stay on top of her because Janna is here, Lee Sin is here. If that happens, you can go out, use your second ability, go back in, third ability, first ability. You can hit like two or three shurikens. And then last second, you can ignite basic attack and go right back to your ult. Again, very advanced stuff, but this is a counter to stasis. You know, of course, stasis counters Zed's ultimate, but this is a way where you can still kill a stasis enemy. If the enemy stasis is early, this works. If they stasis late, it doesn't work. I proc this crown to shut with idiots. I can actually ult him here. Should I? I should be able to one shot him with my second. Ah, no. Stasis, please. Flash. Uh, I died, but they like three of them roamed to me. Three of them rotated to me. I, I guess it's fine. I sold my Yumos this time for the Serpent Fang. Because I realized I don't really need to traverse around the map too much. I just need to be able to kill a shielded enemy. So I chose to go for Serpent Fang this time. Ah, oh, what a game. It's funny because this game is such a perfect game because I've pretty much showed like the I've showed all of the important Z combos really like I'm trying to think I mean there is another one that I haven't showed um, If you're getting chased you can use your second ability backwards Instantly go into it and then when the enemy walks into your shadow use your third ability to slow that enemy and hit two shurikens on them very good way to run away and deal massive damage as well and um there's, a, there's actually another combo, which I don't think I actually personally use. Look at that damage, by the way. 3,100 damage from Southern Impact. Another combo. You can go in with your ultimate. Go back with your second ability. So, like, you ult an enemy. Use your second ability backwards. Go back. Use your third ability. Throw your shurikens. Go back in with your ultimate. And then stasis. This is like a crazy combo where the enemy thinks you're playing it safe. And then you go right back in with your ultimate. You need a stasis for this to work, or you need your team to go in for this to work, and we just won the game. So let's take a look at how much damage I did, and everything like that. Oh my god, what a video. I'm sorry if you have a headache after watching this video, but I really, I'm really i trying to make you guys a Zed expert, basically. I've made a similar video to this one before, but now I have more information about Zed, and taught you even more advanced stuff about Zed. Uh, I didn't even talk about the basic stuff of, on Zed, on how to s preserve your mana and stuff like that. You can watch my other Zed videos for more beginner-friendly explanations. This is a really advanced video. There are the stats. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, yeah, Mustache Devil is gone. And 17-year-old Devil will see you all in an excellent video.